In Creo Parametric, you can add components like cable ties to your cable harness assemblies. First, let's take a look at how you model those components. Let me go to a zip tie that I want to use. I'm going to turn on my coordinate system visibility. Your part needs to have a coordinate system in it that's going to be used as the attachment point and the Z axis is going to point along the direction of your routing. This particular part has a family table associated with it. If I go to tools and family table, they have a bunch of different instances for different diameters. Unfortunately, I don't like that. So I thought, hey, let me try using component flexibility. If you go to file, prepare, and then model properties, and I'll open up the properties dialog box. I'm in that command all the time. So I've had, I added it to my quick access toolbar. Let me scroll down in here. Here we have flexibility. You can go to the change button over here and then you can select different dimensions. Like for example, I will select this particular dimension over here and then click the OK button. Now the problem is unfortunately, when you're adding components in a cabling assembly, it doesn't recognize flexibility. So can't use that. Oh well, let's go over to the cable harness assembly. So again, here's the top level. Whoa, too many coordinate systems. Uh, let's go over to the assembly that contains the cable harness. And let's see over here, I've got my skeleton. I have all the different surfaces hidden so I can see everything. When you are doing this, you are going to want to be in center line display instead of thick cables because you're going to have to pick location points and again location points are not visible or selectable when you are in thick cable display all right so let's say that i want to throw in a zip tie around this location point over here hey let's go to the insert component command and here right now it's showing the last component that I had tried to place in here. I'm gonna grab the family table and it asks me which instance do I want. I'll grab the smallest one. And then it's now prompting me to select an entry port. Again, it's going to be a coordinate system. Let me turn on coordinate system visibility so I can select it in here. So there we have the coordinate system. Then we have our component type. There's splice, there's inline connector, for something like a zip tie, you're going to use custom. Then you have your constraint types, tangent cable or perpendicular to plane. Tangent to cable is the easiest. Right now we have a collector open for the location for the zip tie. Let me select this location over here. There you can see a preview of it. Let me click OK out of this dialog box. Now we get the menu manager that allows us to reposition it. Maybe I want the top part of the zip tie rotated. Hey, let's go to the twist option. And then you can enter a value in here. Let's see, I want a value. Let's try 180 degrees. Let me zoom in and zoom out to repaint. I like that. Notice that you also have options to align the X axis or align the Y axis to something. Let's click done out of here and then done out of here. Then you're going to get this setup cable paths dialog box. You can skip this for custom components. This is really intended to be used for splices. Like if you had a physical component for a splice and it had two coordinate systems, one for entry and one for exit. This is how you want to deal with the internal portions of the cable inside of this place. But again, this doesn't pertain to us. Let's just click the OK button out of here. And that way we have added our cable tie in here. Let me go back to a thick cable display. Let me take a look real quick. Looks like one of my cables is not visible. Oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah. There's only two cables going through that point over there. Then I realized, hey, wait a second. This cable is way too small. Or excuse me, this zip tie is way too small. I can right click and hold and then go to the replace command and replace by family table and then pick this over here and say, oh, let's try this size instead and OK and OK. And eh, a little too big, but again, that's the idea behind that. 
Let me go back to a center line display. Again, you're going to be selecting center points, or excuse me, location points from the cable in order to place these components. That means that sometimes you might need to add location points to your model. Let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to turn on my datum point display because I threw in an extra point into my skeleton sketch so I could add a location. So let me select a cable over here and then I'm going to right click and hold and choose insert locations. Let me go to the items dialog box. Right now it's automatically going to add it to the network and the three cables which is what I want. Let me select this point for the location. I adjusted the routing a little bit. Let's hit the check mark out of here. And now that I've got this point in here, now we can throw in a component. So again, just like before, insert component. Here we've got that one over there. And I can say, maybe, you know, I wanna get a different instance. This one over here for the entry port. Again, we'll choose that attachment. Cable location, let me select one of the location points over here. And it, oops, I should change my spin center. Let me zoom into where I was. All right, and then we can click the OK button out of here. And I'm going to twist it again. Let's enter in a value. Let's try, let's see, I'm taking a look at right hand rule in here. I don't know, let's try 270. There we go, that looks good. Let me hit the done button, done over here. And again, you can just click OK out of the setup cable paths dialog box. And now we have our zip tie in the model. And again, this is a regular physical component. So there you can see them down at the bottom of the model tree. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.